Evidence mounts Canada's worst ever mass shooter was woman hater and misogyny fueled his killing spree that left 22 dead. Former neighbor of gunman said she reported his violence against women and possession of illegal firearms to police years ago but was ignored. Here's a summary of the article. A former neighbor of the gunman who killed 22 people in Canada's worst mass shooting said she reported his violence against women and possession of illegal firearms to police years ago, but was ignored. It's been four weeks since Gabrielle Wartman went on a 12-hour shooting spree in the rural town of Portapeak in Nova Scotia before he was shot dead by police, in what became the country's deadliest mass shooting in modern history. According to police, Wartman restrained and beat his partner in the hours before his killing spree, but she managed to survive by fleeing into nearby woods. The science says that mass shootings are connected to male violence against women but the police are denying in a public press conference that there is misogyny in this case, even though there was a report that the shooter beat his partner. But what would you call it then? McDonald told Business Insider. Activists in Nova Scotia are critical of how the case was handled by police, saying that Forbes' experience is proof all the red flags were ignored. Many mass shooters have a history of violence against women. While the police have not formally said they would investigate misogyny in the case, the activists were pleased to see that Canada's Deputy Prime Minister, Christia Freeland publicly acknowledged the mass murder as femicide. This post received a score of 44,000, with an upvote ratio of 88%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. The RCMP were aware of the following, his illegal weapons, threats against neighbors, reports he killed people in America, his prior prohibition from owning guns, an assault conviction, his imitation RCMP vehicles, and a pattern of aggressive tendencies. The RCMP inaction on this is a huge part of why 22 people are dead. They were also aware that he was on a killing spree and posted it on Twitter instead of using our emergency alert system. I can't wrap my head around that one. I'm sorry, what? It's true. I'm pretty sure that if there had been one, some of the victims would not have answered their doors, people out walking would have stayed home instead, and people may even have not pulled off to the side of the road when getting pulled over. It says here in the article they viewed Twitter as a superior way to get the message across. Maybe to less than 30-year-olds, but how many of them are following the RCMP? Exactly. I can't believe that an emergency alert that could reach everyone's phone and instantly catch their attention was not used in this situation. I just hope they rethink this method, obviously. A quick Google search shows that 49.7% of Canadians online use Twitter. Only half the population online use Twitter in Canada. Meanwhile an article from 2018 says 86% of the whole population has a mobile device. I would assume that's closer to 90 now. Really, RCMP. Edit, I found this info in under 60 seconds. Also even if they are using Twitter, how often are they checking it? And are they following the RCMP, looking at whether this is trending, or just scrolling through friends and family and celeb accounts? I didn't really get beyond the original stupidity to think about this but you're absolutely right. There is no emphasis placed on the tweet after it's posted. Most people mindlessly scroll. Who's gonna see this? E. Grammar. How many people follow the RCMP? If you see something say something, except when you do we will ignore it and then act surprised when it escalates. Well, they did arrest that stormtrooper s. It's starting to sound more and more like I live in a The Onion article. I live in the US and the last three years have been an Onion article. More like past 20 years I'm only 25 and my whole entire life feels like an article out of The Onion source, I am born and raised in Florida. At first I was wondering why it was so crazy for you. Then you said the F word. Yay first Little Bush ran the place and we decided that wasn't crazy enough so we picked Voldemort. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.